Welcome to part three of Last Time in DeCoin. We rejoined the 1980 Hamiltonian with the first heat, which with 19 entrants had to be divided into two elimination heats. Watch. But this was not an ordinary year. It was almost impossible to pick a favorite. The year's best Colts, Netted and Rodney's best, were missing from the race, the result of leg injuries. No other Colts seemed able to dominate the class. A half dozen sophomore Colts politely taking turns winning the major trotting stakes. When the draw for post positions was held, 19 three-year-old trotters, the largest field since 1974, were entered. The large list forced the first heat to be split into two elimination races. The top five from each would return for a second race mile. The Houghton stable entered two trotters. Burgomeister, Peter's horse, was in the second group. Peter had dreamed of becoming the youngest driver ever to win the Hamiltonian with that colt. But that honor seemed destined to go to a different Houghton, Peter's younger brother, Tom. Three-year-old Hamiltonian trotters, first elimination, edition number 55 are at the post. A driver for four years. After his brother's death, Tom seemed to drive with a determination to fill the gap left by Peter. On Hamiltonian day, he was behind the favorite in a division of the first heat, leading the field with a promising and late developing colt named Final Score. Side between them, Wonder Child down along the rail, Noble Hustle, Choctaw Brave out fourth, Balboa fifth on the outside, along the rail, trotting six as they swing around the turn, Native Reel, there goes Petey Bone seven, Devil Hanover eight, trotting nine on the inside, Able Mission ten, Marino Hanover as they thunder toward the quarter mile mark, racing with the lead, Wonder Child, but only for a moment, there goes final score, powering past the leader, he leads it and coming on. Turn for home. Final score inside. Noble Hustle outside. Choctaw Brave will sweep three wide and coming on is Devil Hanover. They're in the final eighth mile. Down along the rail. Final score. Noble Hustle trying. Coming at him. Devil Hanover on the extreme outside. Racing up Native Reel. They race to the lane. Between them, Noble Hustle. Racing to the wire. Devil Hanover along the rail. Final score. Final score has won the first elimination of the Hamilton. Tony in 1980 and 156 and three fifths. And with that win, Tommy Houghton becomes the youngest driver ever to win a heat of the Hamiltonian. He's 23 years old. He has scored in 56 and three. In the second elimination division of horses, Yonkers trot winner Neville Impulse edged out Burgermeister as the betting favorite. Logic overruled sentiment. Burgermeister had the worst possible post position, the extreme outside with fast horses, including Neville Impulse, not likely to allow him an easy lead. Here they come. As the race began, the doubters seemed right. The post position had hurt. William Houghton and Burgermeister were stranded on the outside, never to see the rail. An impossible trip off which to win a Hamiltonian. Some in the crowd feared Billy may have been trying too hard. Now seven, eight, Leonard Hanover, and nine and trailing Tracy Collins, reaching the half mile mark, being led past that station by Thor Viking. The half and 58 and two, they're trotting into the final turn. Thor Viking leads the way on the outside. Demon Renve out second, along the rail, Armbro Vanguard third, trotting on the outside. Burgomaster keeps easing up, now he's fourth. Along the rail, racing fifth, Neville Impulse locked in. Dixon Hanover six on the outside. Outside, Super Crown 7, Leonard Hanover from 8, and trailing still, Tracy Collins, approaching three quarters, being led by Thor Viking. He's at that mark, and won 28 and 1. Thor Viking heads the Hamiltonian trotters as they turn for home. Burgermaster pushed three wide, and here he comes on the outside. Burgermaster trotting a storm between them, Neville Impulse, along the rail, still leading Thor Viking, coming on Armbro Vanguard. Now Burgermaster, and on the inside, fighting. Fighting back Thor Viking, Armbro Vanguard third, they race to the wire, on the outside, Burgermeister inside, Thor Viking, it's going to be Burgermeister winning the second elimination at 158, owned by the estate of Peter Houghton and Florentino. How about a big hand for Bill Houghton and Burgermeister?
Hunter. While the sport watched final score and Burgermeister get halfway to a Hambletonian win, a horse needing two victories to claim the stakes trophy, the Hambletonian itself was two heats closer to its final moments at Ducoin. A win by either Houghton, and the great race was gone for good. A situation that drew out a set of emotions all its own.